Ted Simon spoke recently with the co-founder of the New Directions Institute for Brain Development, Dr. Jill Stamm. Dr. Stamm is a professor at ASU and, as we mentioned, the author of Bright from the Start. We'll see that. But first, here's a comment from Bill Post, the chairman and CEO of Pinnacle West. Its company, APS, is sponsoring the program Wired for Success. You know, infant brain development is something that we all should be concerned about. I mean, just think about this. Just think about the change in technology that's occurring today. You know, some of the latest research shows that the Internet's growing at the rate of 10 million new pages a day. Now, think back 10, 20, 30 years ago, and think about how we developed in terms of our own careers as individuals. Think about the demands that were placed upon us 20, 30 years ago. Just think about a, just go back and look at a television program from 30 years ago and just see how sophisticated it is. Well, what I will predict is you'll get very tired of watching it in a very short period of time because it's very slow, it's very methodical, it's not demanding like the world that we live in today. When we watch the news, we don't get one story at a time, we often get one or two and sometimes three stories simultaneously and we have to grasp that. If you think about the barriers that we have had as a culture in the last 20 to 30 years, many of those have been cultural barriers, social barriers, and I would suggest to you as you think about the next 20 to 30 years, potentially one of the largest barriers we have is our intellectual capacity to keep up with growing technology, which is why it's so important for all of us to think about infant uh, brain development and the brain development opportunities that exist uh, by programs like New Directions where they give parents the opportunity through stimulation, whether that be music or colors or shapes, to actually physically change the mental capacity of their children. You know, when you think about uh, the role businesses can play in that, in my own company at Arizona Public Service Company, we've been involved with Jill for several years. Why? Well, for one reason, what's more important than your employees' children? And when you focus on the opportunity that's there, you focus not only the opportunity for employees, but for their children in a, in a world that 20, 30 years from now is going to demand a workforce that has the capability of dealing with advancing technology at a pace that's even faster than today. So yes, there is a business connection to the need to advance intellectual um, uh, capacity but there's also the human side of this, of working with families to do something that's the most important thing in their lives, and that's their children. 